Hello and welcome everyone to part 60 of the Kingdom of Arnor Let's Play for the Third Age with Mars. We continue where we left things off last time and to clue you guys in about what that last Alliance video was about, it literally was from the opening scenes of Fellowship of the Ring. So heavily copyrighted, just showing the last Alliance battle and saying that we'd gone near to the place of that battle, that historic battle. So yes, also a heads up, because um, I won't be doing like an update video about it, but I am away this weekend and the start of next week, so unfortunately there won't be any uploads on Monday or Tuesday. Maybe there'll be some XCOM if I can get some recorded in time, I don't know. Um, unfortunately it seems like loads of things are happening all at once. I've got a university hockey reunion and some other stuff uh, going on. So I just haven't had time to like pre-record this stuff and as you guys know I don't like to pre-record stuff because I like to involve you guys in planning and tactics for the next episode and things like that. So we'll be back on schedule on Wednesday, and I'll be giving you guys extended uploads uh, Wednesday and Thursday for Arnold Maratha, Viking Conquest, Charlemagne, um, for all you guys, um, so that you you know don't miss out as such. Um, there should be Charlemagne and Viking Conquest out on Sunday. I should have enough time to do that then, but I unfortunately won't have time to do anything for Monday or Tuesday. But I'll keep you guys updated via my social media, Twitter and Facebook. But yes, just wanted to give you guys a heads up that before we dive into this hour special of Arnor. Anyway, so last time we took the Black Gate. Very nice. We're going to grab this whole army and move out. Yes. Well, they're pissed about that. Move the army of the dead in. With honor. And then take the army of the dead out. Leave one Oathbreaker unit behind. Move them here. Damn, they're pissed. Um, you guys did say, or some of you suggested that it might be time to move my capital to Isengard. Now, the only problem is I have tested it um, to see what the impact would be. And basically, we, on the expenditure, the bit that we're saving up here, because we're essentially earning, with the provinces around here, we're earning over 10k from all of them collectively. Um, Bree goes down to loses about a K's worth of income, but expenditure-wise, it goes up to 19,000 rather than 13,000 on corruption. Uh, I mean, we still get a fair bit of money coming in, projected profits, uh, or rather total, projected treasury total. So we'll still be getting yeah, seven, seven K a turn-ish. Um, well, we're getting seven K a turn at the moment. If I move the capital to Isengard, then it, yeah, we, it's an extra five, nearly 6k, well, over 6k, actually, that we lose. But, all these provinces down here are getting rather upset, and I can't really move too many troops forward from them because of the huge um, penalty that they all take because of distance to capital. I could always just switch it back, um, but I've kind of been thinking maybe Isengard... Gonna have to do it. The only problem is it's gonna upset a lot of regions. My lord. If I do it. He's the governor, so he's the general here. So if I move you up here As you wish. and I start tomorrow. moving you over here, because you you'll get pissed. Ang Sul is already blue. So we need to build a unit here. I'm gonna build some up here. We're actually gonna Kandum build some as well. And we've got a lot of these guys on high tax, so in fact, before I do any more of that, we need to just spend the 5k on moving it to Isengard. I'm going to do it because at the moment my focus is pushing over here in these territories, and especially in Mordor, I don't want things rebelling and getting hit from behind. Now, I know we may not need to worry about a rebellion here in case the AI rebels won't hit the army of the dead, but I'd rather not risk it, um, just in case, so... I'll do it, I'll do it. If, it. if it's the wrong thing to do, then you guys can let me know in the comments of this video and we can switch it back next time. So as you can see, 19,000 expenditure now. <laughs> yeah, we're still getting about 7k income though. So that's fine, it's just <laughs> painful. But we have some problems over here, which we can address by just dropping the tax down. I mean, these guys are never earning us much money anyway, so yeah. Like delving, it's normal tax, recruit a unit militia, we can probably pop you back up. A Numinas, we'll go for those guys, and we'll pop you down one. We can start increasing these taxes. A couple of turns. We may have little rebellions up here, but it's not like we can't deal with it. Yeah, when we lost over a thousand income from Bree. I'm switching the capital there, which is just crazy. Um, 
Um, we can probably actually, now that Breeze got to its max level. No, not yet. Not yet. Um, what are we actually building? Merchant Bank. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to throw a few more of these guys in here for free upkeep. Soul's fine. That's fine. This one is not so fine. Ang Soul. We're building units there, and up here is already kicking off. So we're going to have to try and deal with that as best we can. Those guys are all yellow, but. So again, they're suffering the same. They've got distance to capital, but it's only 20%. And Isengard is pretty perfectly centralized for my whole empire right now. So it's it's now shifting from... I mean, I'm okay money-wise. I'm still okay. But um, what, what do we need more? Public order or money right now? And public order takes precedence. So everyone else is okay green and yellow faces are fine for now no blues or reds though so these guys are now going to be super happy down here which is all good all good indeed i'm moving these forces over to support pilar gear we need to tolachan with gandalf and get him over to ostithil uh, and with Aragorn, we're going to move him to take the White City now because there's a Rohan stack here. Sure, with the Tolachan cancelled, um, they'll probably leave. But we should be able to take Minas Tirith and then with Gandalf, hit West East Osgiliath and West Osgiliath next turn. Well, I say I hit them. You may have to worry about these armies. Probably going to get Gandalf besieged Ost Ostithil. But um, we'll see. We shall see. We need to like power on through here. We also need to go on the offensive with these guys while we've got the opportunity to do so. So I'm actually going to go to Waldberg. Many of you suggested I can push out towards it now. We'll get a bridge battle here if we're attacked. I might as well. Um, we could always quickly throw some forces that way. But we need to go on the offensive with these guys. I mean, I could go on the offensive and support down here, but then there's nothing to defend over here. We might as well secure our victory objectives. I'm going to pull this Army of the Dead unit down as well. Just because we could then throw it into Wahlberg, and then we can keep pushing. Once we take Wahlberg, we'll probably will get victory messages. Um, I assume we can continue off that. I'm going to save just before in case for whatever reason. It's been a long time since I completed the campaign on this, so I can't. I assume there's still the older, the same old. You have won. You know, congratulations. Um, you can continue if you want to. Message. So yeah. Right, I've also got to kind of risk it with my ships here, going up against this Corsair fleet. I don't know how well it's going to go, but we're going to find out now. Ah, oh, heroic victory. We didn't sink any of them. But that's fine. They fled all the way over here. Oh, they got wrecked. I think that's them anyway. How did we do, though? How many men did we lose? Oh, not too bad. Right, we're going to go to Pilar gear. I need to retrain you guys. One of them's fine, and then we need to just block the crossing there. That's where we have to go stand. What's got my troops down in the south there that I need to deal with? Right, time with Gandalf. You go into Gandalf's army. You go into there. You drop Gandalf up off here. Gandalf, take the oath, oath of Tolachan. Because otherwise, if we attack and it's not successful, then it's just cancelled. I don't know if we get loads of bonuses for this. I'm probably just going to auto-resolve this. I'm going to risk it, because I don't want to risk losing ammo with the ballista. 53 men lost. Boom. Tolachan completed. An honourable, glorious victory. And sack it. I don't know if there'll be a copyrighted message or not, but here we go. No, vengeance has come. We gained some money, good, and 37 units gain experience bonus, so it was worth... Oh, thank you, got to close that. I can't look at that anymore, because <laughs> it's starting playing music. Celebratory music, I'm sure it's fine, but I'm, I'm so super like anal about not playing those bits, if I can help it. I just don't want to take the risk, it's not worth it, basically. Fortress, we should repair it, catapult maker. We probably have none here, we should probably have exterminated. Probably would have been better... Uh, we're going to need that library. Now with Gandalf, I'm kind of like, do we hold on to this? What are these guys going to do? They're going to come at us, but I mean, we can take them on. There are trolls there. I just don't know how many armies are going to come at us. I'm hoping they'll get distracted by this guy. We'll, we're going to have to see. I'll leave this mercenary ship here in case Gandalf needs to make a quick escape. 
I mean, again, I, the thing is, actually, it's probably worthwhile going for Westos Giliath first. But then again, no, well, the thing is, I'm just thinking here. If I go for Minas Tirith, that's fine. If I go for Westos Giliath, I stop them coming over. Although that would help Gandalf out a little bit. I probably should take Minas Tirith and hope that Rohan stays around a bit. What I really need to do is also just take Westos Giliath to hold them up for a turn. I'm gonna stick you. Maybe we can send a troop over there to just take it. I don't know. But we're going to go for Minas Tirith first, the City of Kings. In we go. Um, hmm. Now, again, I could risk the Ballista, but... Well, we might as well build stuff. Towers would be useful. But I'm going to assault as well, because obviously I want to try and fart on this map if I can, because it's an awesome map. But I don't know if we'll have enough to destroy the gates with the Ballista, so... We'll risk it, because the map's cool. I don't want to exactly alter his old Battle of Minas Tirith. I mean, come on. We might as well just see if we can take it down this turn and get in there to then defend it. Rather than get caught out in the fields. So, we shall see. Okay. Let's start. What a fantastic map. If you haven't seen my epic battle, uh, Battle of Minas Tirith, then do go check that out. There'll be another epic battle coming out soon. It's actually an epic battle of the Siege of Constantinople. Should be good fun. Um, I assume we can probably get hit from here, but if I put my ballista here... Deselect Aragorn. There we go. Um, grab, grab, grab. Off fire at will. Uh, fire up ammo. And that. No, they're all good. Alright. Infantry, infantry, infantry. Well, spears we're grabbing. Oh. Well, it's only two units of infantry, but still. We'll separate a little bit. Have them there. Cavalry. Left flank, Aragorn, loose formation, do your thing. They're up on the walls here. Don't think they can fire though, which is good. Ooh, someone's firing at me, is it the towers? Ah, oh, what are you guys doing? I told you specifically not to use fire. Oh, there's something. Oh, they've probably got Ballista Towers then. Yes, they do. Okay, with Cavalry in loose formation, I need to go see that gate and see if we're doing much damage to it or not. Oh, wow. Loose formation archers. Loose formation with you guys. Cavalry, come back more. I have to keep checking in with these guys, see how much damage we've done. Because if we don't take out that gate, I'm in proper trouble. I don't know if flaming shot's more effective, but I think that's more accurate, so that's what we've got to go for. Let's go check it out. Oh, damn, they've already burnt one down. No! 28%. I'm gonna sacrifice... A unit of Honorian heavy archers to take the um, Ballista Tower. See if they'll fire on them. Are the Uruks firing on me now, though? No. It's, they've got catapults to worry about there. That looks to have done it, though. 
Okay, their gate's not looking good, so it must be at least half health, I would have thought, to show that kind of damage. Let's have a look with the cavalry again. 56%, yep, boom. Run back, let you guys take some damage. And also, these guys are working really nicely because their Urukarchers don't have the range. Taking on the Urukarchers, that's all good. So what other units do they have? They have Orc Raiders down here. One unit of them, which is now going into loose formation. Uh, well, they have the general back on the capture point, which is up here, I think. Or is it? Oh, have they actually for this one? They may have put it all the way up at the top. There's an, oh god! There's no. There's another gate. Oh, I'll never do it then. Oh bollocks! Didn't realise they had two gates. I was thinking of the um, the map I fought my battle on. My custom epic battle of Minas Tirith. Oh, balls. Didn't realise there was another one up there. So that's where they're going to have their final unit. So I'm going to have to break through that as well. Oh, cock. Well, I might be able to get my archers to fire on them. Although, some of my archers are out of ammo. Mm, that's going to suck if I can't get through it. I think at the moment they're actually going to tell my archers to stop firing. The ones that haven't already run out of ammo. These guys don't have any ammo, they're just acting as fodder to stop these guys being taken out because we need them. I'm not going to have enough ammo to break the upper gate. Now, what we've got to do is stop them from fleeing all the way up to the top, which they're all doing. Last them. Well, we can at least whittle them down. We've captured the enemy's walls. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. We can at least take out the catapults. Oh, we're definitely going to need rams then. Oh, that sucks. Didn't even know. Actually, can we get up this way, or is there a gate this way as well? Oh no, you can't even get up that way. You have to go through the mountain this side to that gate. Rat snacks. So didn't even know about that. Right, you guys get up here though, because you guys can at least take out take out this catapult, so that won't cause us any trouble next time. We may not even get to these guys. Unless I'm super sneaky. That's the body that's the general's bodyguard, but they've got a unit up here still. They have oh, they pulled multiple units up here. Assholes. Continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Take off loose formation. I need you guys up here. Damn. I've got to move them all individually. Oh, it's lagging like a beat. Oh, it's because it's six times probably. Tell you guys all just to run on this spot. And then you guys, or infantry group, you're going to need to come up here. I don't know where you guys have been told to go. I'll just keep attacking the artillery crew. Special ability Aragorn, go! First siege of Minas Tirith. Reclaiming the White City. Fast forward through this bit. So the units we've left outside of my arch that are all spent. I'm going to need the ballista to actually start coming up here if we're going to make it through. Which could take a very long time. We actually don't have that much long. We have half our time left on the time. Oh my god. The only problem with this is that pathfinding wise it's not the friendliest. Are there any of them left? Hear fighting going on, but I assume not. Okay, 
Spears, get up here. Soldiers, get up here. Can the cavalry get through here? Can come up the other way and flank them. The gates over here is open. Let's get them over there. Aragorn over here. We will flank you. Bloody gate. And these guys up here. Thankfully that's not an actual gate there. Over the Watt City. Oh damn, I always wanted to follow. See the view. It is a wonderful one. It would have been grand if we could have Osgiliath off in the distance with an actual river. But still, bloody impressive work, modders. Bloody impressive work. Right, my cavalry's coming through because we're going to hammer these guys in the behind. I'm not going to get my rangers to fire yet because we may need to see if the rangers can fire up to the top and take out those units. Where we go, where we go. Go, 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 men. Okay, group five. Okay, I'm gonna have to grab you guys. Two by two. And spread you guys along. Just so I know where you all are. Aragorn. Bring you guys up here. We're gonna slam into them from the behind and just break them that way. Up this way. There's a path. Fear not. They are exhausted though. How far are we? Oh god, the blister's only down here. Wow. Wowzers. Ooh, dodgy camera angles. Have we clashed with them yet? Oh, that's where they are. Cool. We have. Have they pulled back another unit? That's the thing I want to know. Up through here. Where's their general? Battle is very much in our favor. God. Victory will be ours. Intricately woven into the side of the mountain. They've got orc raiders. Is it just one unit of orc raiders that's just weirdly bunched up? I think it is, actually. Where? Oh, where? Has their general gone? I'm pretty sure there's only one unit here. Oh, no. Uruk bodyguard's in there as well. These guys are exhausted, so they're going to need time to rest. Where's Aragorn? Why can't Aragorn get up here? Why won't he take move orders from here? Da, 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 da. Come on. Oh, what? They can't move any further than this? That's not good. I wonder if I give him an attack order though. Which way are they charging? They're charging him from this way. I'm just going to get the cavalry to rest up here first. Ah, the good. These guys have got stuck in. Inventory. Inventory. Infantry are here. Not inventory. Infantry. Away. Just break him down, man. Some good old Arnold action. Hew them all. How am I cab doing? They're still exhausted. When it gets a little bit closer, we'll charge with them. But, I mean, at this point, you're going to have to be careful. We might get to be very lucky and kind of follow them through the gate. When they break, let's slow things down. Because when units break, you often make a drop and pick up that. I'll tip that piece. Where have I told these guys to go? I've probably told them to go all the way up here. Um, well, but Lister for now, you're going to have to just move to here. We'll see as they come up, actually. I'm going to have to go for the cavalry charges now, I think. Get in that Aragorn. We need to break these guys now. 
But if we, we can chase a unit up here. Oh, that one's waiting by the gate. We might be able to kind of bug it out to go force it to open the gate for us and follow them through. Here comes the cavalry charge, though. Oh, they've not got a good charge. No lances coming down. Oh, these guys at the back kind of wanted to, but they didn't really get much. The Uruk bodyguard is doing pretty well. My dismounted Arnold knights. Pull Aragorn's force out of it because he's not... Oh, that, or if he would pull away from it. Pull these guys away and see if we can get a proper charge of just one of them going in at a time, perhaps. to go all the way back over here. I am Aragorn, son of Aragorn. Aragorn, you're kind of in the way. As awesome as you are. I'm losing Cav. Right, let's get all the Cav out. Then we're going to go... In. Oh, they've broken already. Anyway. Nice. Well, we actually... We actually kind of want to let a few of them try and... It's going to be weird, but... Pull back disengage from them unless oh no the Uruk bodyguard's still going but if we can break them we need to chase units up the hill to try and go through the get them to go through the gates let's just give my attack order on the bodyguards there we go some of them are making it up there so let's get some of my cavalry up there now as well try and chase them on through Top tactics, this. Top tactics. Aragorn come back on through. Their troops are making it up there. This cavalry unit better hurry up. I'm going to have to pull through with the other one. Here we go. Come on through. Faster, faster, faster. Oh, you guys are super tired. Damn, we're not going to make it to the gate in time. I don't know. Go, run, 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 run. Run up here. Run up here. Oh no, we're harassing them too much. Are they going to open the gate? No, they're not. Damn it. Okay, well, Ballista, you've literally got to walk to here. Cavalry's got to kill them all. I know I've just told all my archers to fire as well. <laughs> right, archers. Run to here, we've just got to try and take as many of them down. I mean, we've done that already. We're just going to annoyingly have to wait another turn. I was hoping we could just straight up take them on down. Where's the my ram got? Ram, my... Oh, no, the... the No, oh, it's down here still, the ballistas. Damn. Can't attack the gate, can I? Enemy general's fallen. Blast. I've just got to six times speed it now. There's an out. All I can do... So tell these guys to fire at will and hope that they can somehow shoot up here with any kind of reasonable accuracy. Where did these guys get to? So it's only my elites that can actually reach it. That socketh. So we're going to run out of time before we can... I'm not sure, Ballista, you can actually fire from there and kill it. Yeah. 
Let's try and get him up there. We're going to run out of time. And I don't think he's going to have enough ammo. No, I am killing a few of you guys. I was hoping I might draw you down. But I don't think so. Can't you guys hit it? You guys too far around, perhaps? Try putting you guys down here. Oh wait, can flaming arrows break down gates? Nope. Damn, foiled at 71%. Ooh. Bring you that gate down. Oh, we were so close, just a bit more time if we'd been faster. Well, we need more ammo probably as well. Don't reckon we've got enough ammo. Ah, uh, time's running out. So close, so close. I'm definitely going to need a ram. Foiled at the last. So very close. They'd have run out of ammo, I think, before getting that 100%. Even if we had more time. We did plenty of damage to them, though. We lost 54 of our men. So I'll take that. I'll take that any day. Killed their general at least. Back from the but, oh, now I've been pushed back, so I, I've got to take two turns now. Oh, that's even worse. Because I still have units at the top. Oh, that's that's even worse. Didn't think about that. Didn't even think about it. Right, we need the library that will school rather. Um. Damn it. Foiled. Elder Girls Rest, what can we, we're going to need more troops, we'll get some more swords. The economy can take it, so it's okay. Let's get another ballista going, why not? More men to leave behind as garrison troops. Can't recruit any more there. That's the Great West Road. Can't do anything with Gandalf there. We can with these guys, though. Get down and besiege. And is in mouth, but let's first of all move. Close that quickly. Mount Doom. And I think uh, Cardi Owen said I need to move to the, like, this point, either the southwest point or was it... The, I watched back the video, I looked read through his notes but there wasn't anything about that I printed off anyway, maybe it was an earlier comment about the positioning, but for some reason in my head I've got southwest being stuck in my head, so that'd be like here, in fact we can see where the spike can go, there's like two spots, either there or right beneath it, and when I looked back at the... Uh, video, I had a watch of it before I started recording this one, of where I need to actually place the ring bearer, it was right below Mount Doom, or well, that's where the arrow was pointing to, but l considering that siege went on a fair while, we'll, um, yes, I'll probably be able, you guys will probably be able to tell me in the comments section of this video, right, we're going to go attack this next one here with this army, lots of rams, I think that's all we need for this, spam the rams, Army of the Dead, we've already left a unit behind, so I'm just going to move you guys up behind this army. So you would stop any forces coming on in. Let's build a watchtower, because why not? Okay. Annoying. That's oh, so annoying. The thing is, Rohan could go in and try and take it now. Oh, no, they can't, thankfully. Good. What I should have done is put my spy in. I could risk my spy. I've got an assassin here, if not, for vision. Damn. He failed. Send my assassin here. I don't get as much vision. We've got room for a spy anywhere over here we do. Let's build one. Because I'm going to need some. 
our agent. So we've got a spy over here. Let's send him up. There we go. Problem solved. I could try again, because then we can get the gates open. We just go straight on through. But, uh, it's, it's tricky. It is tricky. Right, you guys are there. I think that's kind of all we can do this turn. I'm probably going to need to save my money. Oh, wait, no, there's something else we can do, actually. I've forgotten. Um, well, first off, Eldercar's rest is now a lot happier, so I can probably send out at least these guys over here. Um, we can gather some forces here to Ed Loss. To exhaustion, continuing later. My lord, my lord. Yes, as you wish. Uh, we can send cavalry, they'll get in there. Your will, my lord. My lord. Your will, my lord. Your will, my lord. Just thinking that cavalry may have been able to hit Ministerith. Your orders, my lord. Your will, my lord. If I hire mercenaries, will they still, they'll still have movement range for this turn, won't they? Let's find out. I'm probably going to end up... Yeah, I've merged all my troops now. Or was that... Or just that one. Gondor volunteers. Or these guys are better. Ah, no, you guys can't. Damn. I was hoping somehow maybe I'd manage to, like, glitch it. Oh, unless I send a general. I could risk this guy to besiege it. Aragorn's pretty close. Yes, my lord. None of his other men can move that far. Oh, let's risk it. As you command, we shall prevail. Try and build two rams. Uh, we can give him some mercenaries. There we go. Let's try that. Let's try that. He said. Right, we have our forces down here. Can they finally move? We can build new troops there. Yes. In fact, with the... Yes, we can. If we put them to low, we can now move. Start building troops just as a garrison. But these guys, we can yes. begin raiding once more. Let's do what we did before, ships though. Ready. Having a ship out in front. Your orders, my lord. Ships ready. Ships right, let ready. the raiding spree continue. But we won't be going after Umbar because it won't be worth anything. We'll go for this one, and this one, this one, and then Gobel Tolfalas. I'm going to move yes. this guy over here to deal. We can't obviously see what the garrison's like there now, but that's fine. But to deal with the Harad here. Ships right, ships ready. Good, good, good. I'll start building up a fleet again as well, just to protect us a little bit. You lots of money spending. I'm going to have to probably curb it after this. Especially because I'm building more of these guys. I'm keeping on it. I'm keeping on it. Right. Now I think we can end the turn. So let's let's do it. Let's see what happens. Okay. Rohan's moved super close to me at Ministerith, which is grand. So I can pull them in. And seeing as we've already attacked it again, I could just auto-resolve it. We've seen one battle of Ministerith. Rohan's got loads of armies, which is good. I want to see where Mordor goes, because I'm worried about Gandalf now at Ostithil. Because I'm kind of prepared to surrender that if... Uh, oh, Dale, of course, yes. Where are they going to go now that the Chan's finished? Ba, 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 ba. Yeah, I'm wondering where these guys are going. Are they all going to suddenly garrison ease and mouth? We're going to come in as a reinforcements. Oh, oh, oh dear. They're going after Dale. That's good, though. Oh, no. Oh, wait, hang on. What happened to Dale? Oh, they're, they're hidden in the trees. Oh, I'm so sorry, Dale. Sorry, not sorry. How far back can you move, though? Oh, you're going to move... Oh, no, not that far. Please, oh no. Oh dear. I need to get into Minas Tirith before that army comes up. Although Rohan's outside to potentially help me. We might just get away with this. We might. 
They're going to West Osgiliath. No, they're on the bridge in between. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. I think we may have just got away with this. He says, seeing more armies arrive south. Oh, Gandalf. Oh, Gandalf. Actually, Gandalf will probably, from Ostithil, just sally out and start striking these guys. That's it. You go and chill in Minas Morgul. That's it. You guys just back up over there. No, don't move out again. Oh, damn right, okay. Well, there's a Nazgul to kill in East Osgiliath. Oh, clenching would not even fully describe the feelings right now. Betrothed. Um, to D. Sure thing. New mission, take Thondol. Oh, well, I was probably going to do that anyway. Ah, they're moving forces south. Good. Let's move this on the dead unit through there. Thank you. Marriage celebrations. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Income's dead. Income's dead. Income is dead. Income's dead. That's not good. That's not good at all. Okay, that was a big mistake then, moving it down. Well, not... Partly massive mistake, partly... I had to experiment, find out what was going to happen. So first we'll go through these and make sure we pump up their tax rates a little bit. I need to... Well, actually, no, having said that, we're fine. We're fine for at least a turn because we can get a, hopefully some money out of this siege here. Uh, there's probably some some queues I could go and cancel. What are we Ooh, army upkeep? I need to get, be able to get five k again to send it back up to Bree. That's the only thing. Disband anything that's not being covered by free upkeep. You're not being covered by your upkeep, but we need to make sure there's at least one unit per settlement. I could probably start disbanding some of these guys at the bridge that are costing a lot. Who's costing the most? That I'm really not going to need or use. Uh, I mean, the, the invasion is still technically going. Hopefully Rohan can... Well, actually, why don't we pop some of these guys in here and see what we'd have... The left. Your will, my lord. My lord. Orders. Orders. Your will, my lord. Leaving the the, these guys will get some free upkeep here. Orders. Um just disband you. You guys are far better than some of these guys I've just popped in here. Let's pop you guys in there. Some free upkeep. Uh as well, we've got this army in the north that I'm constantly building. And that's not going to help. And those new units that I was building down at Elder Carl's Rest, I'm afraid you're going to have to be cancelled. We've now got some money. I think actually we are we are positive. Are we we are positive with our treasury. It's just going to take a well uh, protected protected profits are minus four thousand. So protected total. Oh no, wait, no, no, we're still negative because I can see the things here. Okay, we need to increase it somehow. So we may need to disband some knights and some units. I mean, maybe maybe it's a bit too early to send this army south. Um, That can take a high tax rate. Bree can take a very high tax rate. Can take a very high one, although you're not... It's because your army's about to move. In fact, this army's now ready to go to the front line. With honor. Uh, where's the other unit? The other unit's over here. My lord. Ships ready. Your orders, my lord. They're going to be there in two turns. They're going to be there in two turns. Yeah, uh, so we need to work on the income. And Numinas is super happy again. Need you up there. Need you ideally much higher. You're going to have to go to that, though. Oh, they've settled off that initial freak out, so that's fine. You've got troops in you. So, because I built some. I should probably keep you guys there, though. Hobbit Tree and Arms, you're the free upkeep one, so we'll keep you there anyway. Um, General, let's, let's throw you up here. Yes. Get rid of this unit. Can we make it to Waldberg? Yes, Not without Lord. hitting the army. We can Lord take Thondal, yes, though. We shall engage. 
We shall prevail. Have they got in here? That oh dear, it's the Oleg High. Oh wait, well, the, they've got the ballista and all the archers and the mountain trolls. We'll fight that one in a minute ourselves. Why not? Your orders, my lord. Bring these guys together. I want them constantly together. Okay, we've still got a lot of monetary woes though. Well, if we take actually, if we take Minas Tirith, yes, it's fine. If we attack now. Your orders, my lord. Yeah, I'm going to auto-resolve this using Rohan to help. We have okay, this is close. And population to be sacked. We definitely... Um, massacre. I'm going to sack it. Still an uber huge city, so that's fine. Income is fine. <laughs> Rescued. Ha, just. Okay, well, we have enough money that I could always... I could always put the capital back up at Bree with them. We're going to have public order problems down here again. This is going to require some very careful tweaking. Gandalf here can sally out and strike these armies, or we could go straight for um, Eastos Giliath and we could just leave Ostithil. We block the crossing. There isn't a crossing here. It's down at Pelagir. Gondor's gone over, though. Gondor's going over with that army, which is good. I reckon with Gandalf we're going to need to pop out and strike Mordor. Here and here. And... With Aragorn, we can either go for this army. I'm gonna stick which actually, it's got a catapult in it. It's, it's got uh, troll catapults. Aragorn's army can yes, take it down. Although it's, ooh, it's a little ooh, a little bit weakened with all that stuff I've done. I could probably pop a few units in Minas Tirith. We could bring these guys over, though, to actually reinforce Aragorn's army. Um, I'm, gonna still, I'm just going to get these guys over as soon as we can. By your command. Cavalry. Yeah, so we'll get Aragorn to strike this army, then go in and take Westos Giliath. We should have enough movement for that. We want to get up Keradros as well. Um, with Gandalf, if we can pop out and take out each of these armies in turn and then back into Ostithil, that'd be grand, but he's going to need some reinforcement. There's a lot of reinforcements gathering at Pelagir. If we block the crossing, they can't ever get back. And there's nothing else here to attack me. So, where is that crossing? It's there. Yes, sir. Now they can't. I would fight for your people as if they were my okay, own Okay, well apparently, friend. well allies, yeah they can your obviously. So hopefully Mordor forces though. There's no Mordor armies where I can check. If they can move over, but I think we've got it cornered in which case, sorted, in which case, from Pelagir, we could start sending troops north to help fortify all this up. Okay, okay, okay. Right, let's yeah, let's go for Thon Throndal. It'll probably be the last thing we do in this hour special. I know we haven't achieved a massive amount. We've launched a fair few things off. Oh, King Third and the Watcher. How old are you? Oh, I'm only 45. So we could put these guys back on the bridge or start assembling some there. We'll just have to see how Mordor reacts. We've also got that battle, this battle to fight here, although we might be able to get away with it. Let's take a look. As you come on. Yeah, I'm going to risk auto resolving. It's fine. An honorable, We've made it. Victory. And Most we will. Noble. Here, I guess exterminating is probably the best option. Probably should have done that at the Black Gate. But then they're super happy. Then... Ah, oh, there's that army there that needs to be pushed back. So we're going to need to push out and attack them. I probably will fight that one myself. When that battle's done, I'll pop an army of the dead unit into Isenmouth and then keep moving towards Mount Doom. In fact, let's, let's do that battle first. Oh no, let's pop them back. There we go. Oh, splendid. Right, one of you guys in... Is and mouse, so we can't be followed. It's just that unit basically, and then to Mount Doom. And I'm working out if if it's there or if it's there for where I need to place and leave this army for five turns, then Mordor dies. So we just need to hold out after that. 
So it's either there or there. Or if I'm completely wrong with these guys, let me know. Feel free to, if you really want to help me, feel free to right now screenshot um, this clip of the video and then know in paint just put a big red splodge where I need to move him to. Is it there? 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 I think it's either there or there. I think it's there. So I'll be able to do that next turn. Uh, and with this army, I guess, where should we put this one now? We could try and pull it out through Moranon and then get it to Keradros. Because we don't really need this army anymore now. We've taken all the settlements we need to to get into the Black Gate. We could we could try and take this one and get in and take Sirith Ungol. And drop another army of the dead unit in behind. Um, so they just can't attack us anywhere. Share me your thoughts. Share me your things. Um, for now though, we're going to see if we can take on... Your orders, my lord. Some of these guys here, some uh, Oleg High, and just because it's coming super close to the end and I don't want to risk like it crashing or anything, I am going to make a save. 60, I call it dash 1. And now we fight. We could just auto-resolve this one, but let's see how we do against Oleg High. It's been a while. It's been a while, my friend. And remember, obviously, you guys have longer to think about the tactics that we're employing next because um, I won't be able to record any more of this until Wednesday next week. All right, I'm just going to go for the slightly more direct approach, which is here. We're going to try and ballista them straight up. Um, we are probably going to need... Oh, ah, in fact, we've got they've got trolls this time, haven't they? Ah, uh, but of course, I wouldn't have any... Oh, no, these archers have... Yes! Stakes. Oh no, wait, that doesn't matter because they count as infantry, not bloody cav. Well, still, it will look pretty. So, you know what? Sod it. Archers all to here, but this is going to go there. We're then going to put infantry in front, I'm afraid. Infantry sacrificial squad. I'm just going to have to hold them back. I mean, we could keep running back and forth, but I reckon they'll just charge us. So, I'll try and get a couple of shots with the ballista. I'm pull the these two archers back. Oh wait, did they not deploy them? There we go. Nice. Cavalry, I'm gonna have you guys over in the trees, way over here. General over there, and then you guys over here. Okay, you need to fire on the Oleg High Ballista. There we go. Right, Ballista, here they come. They're not waiting around. I think we've already taken an Oleg High down there. Nope. They're running away. Weirdly. Oh no. And it was all a ploy. Oh, I don't know now. Have we got any of these Oleg High down? No. It's constantly back and forth. Okay, I'm going to have to let the blister go forward to where it wants to go. Infantry, I'm going to have to go forward. And archers, go to here. Keep these guys over here ready for a kind of counter flank. Oh, I totally forgot about these guys. I'm a Knights of Anumanas, that's fine. It's all good. Oh dear, oh dear, they're moving. I'm just kind of wary of you. I know you're not going to really hit them, but still. I like how we got pikes right in the middle though, that's good. Alright, come on, Oleg High, bring him down. At least a ballista bolt in him, come on.
They're charging now. Oh dear. Come on, Bliss. What are you guys doing? Not even firing. No, you didn't even fire. With the tr mountain trolls. Oh dear. Mountain trolls flank me. Mountain trolls are tricky bastards. They went into my best units. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Bloody mountain trolls. Meanwhile, Oleg High. Expected them to charge in here though. Ballista, you keep firing on that Oleg High if you even started firing. Knights of Numinas charge in here, maybe a charge bonus. We'll do it. Hit the like hi. How'd that work? That brought a fair few of them down. Nice. I'll go for another charge on them. I heard the ballista fire then. Did we get any of these all like high down though? That's the question. Doesn't look like it. We should probably sort out the Moran on guard as well. That one's down to its last three, so they're fine. Let's pull my cav around there. These guys are pretty tough. So they'll take him down. Not too many losses. Fire at will off. Fire on these guys. Ballista, you probably won't fire into a group of my men. Damn, knew there'd be trouble. wonder if my cavalry can help out. A rear charge over here. Nine. One of them's down. Charge a numinous knight. Nice one, man. I think I didn't look that impressive, but was it impressive? We took out all the units at the back there. I'm so sorry, infantry. Right, you guys are taking out all the mountain trolls. Oh no, there's one, there's one left. Once for Numinous, you're going to need to pull back. We're going to go for a proper charge where we get the full speed into the back of these guys. I'll lag high. Let's see if we can't bring you down with a cavalry charge. Knights for Numinous. Form up, form up, form up. Let's go, go, go. And there's going to be some friendly fire. Oh, another one went down. Let's see if the Lancer charge will do anything here. Okay, cavalry get out of there. Because you're going to get hailed on. Oh, what happened here, guys? I have to get my heaviest infantry in. Archers on all of these guys. You guys got properly munched. I'm so sorry. We're going for another cavalry charge. Uh, with those guys against the Olaikai, it didn't really work. Come on, men. Give me a good charge afresh. Get your lances. Get your lances. Yes, last minute. That's better. There we go, now they're broken. The enemy force remains. Let's form them up here. I know I'm killing a lot of my own men here with the archers, but... I'm hoping as much as I'm killing my own men, we're... Uh, Getting more, some more shots on the Oleg High. Keeping these guys out of it just until the last. 
and then we'll go in. Okay, another one's gone down. The last of them are down. Let my archers keep firing. When these guys are done, then I'm going to stop firing with my archers and just charge in with these guys. Completely. Although, thinking about it, we could just go in and capture this and not have to deal with any more Oleg High. Our men have taken control of the city. Okay, four of them left. Because there's their general there. We has to be given a, yeah, we have to be given one of them has to be non Oleg High. Oh, there we go. I'm so sorry. Two units of infantry completely wiped out. Which, yeah. There we go. They've all gone. That's another whole unit. Oh no. I don't know. Archers, stop. Try and save this last one. Save yourself, men. We'll send you reinforcements. This one brave man. Can we get to him in time? Fighting to the bitter end. Come on. No! No! He fell just as the charge came in. We slaughtered this one. Ah, oh, what an end. Sacrifice 16% of my force. Oh, blister. Seriously. Now, stop firing. Like this, we will this guy's got a lot of hit points, so he's got the same amount as an Oleg High, so it will take a lot of hits to take it down. Probably better off just waiting for the cat now. Ay 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 ay. Well, it, this episode didn't necessarily. I don't know. I'm pleased with what we've done. Um, <laughs> not so much about the whole. Uh, this is a clear victory. Yikes. They killed... Oh, yeah, that's a lot of friendly fire. Not so much about the... move. Well, moving the capital in terms of income has not been a good idea. But in terms of public order, which is what we need uh, for probably securing down those provinces in the east, then fair enough. Yeah, I don't know. Some of you might be like, ah, idiot. Absolute fail there. I'm... I don't know. I'm in two minds about it. I probably would have done it at some point. Maybe now's not the best, but... Now that I've got my army within a turn's step of getting into Mount Doom, and now that we've been conquering more territories, we've kind of sorted out the economy anyway. At least we've resolved it within the whole part. Uh, I'm just gonna, uh, I'm just gonna occupy actually. There we go, nice and happy. I wonder if we might get Ents now. Now we've got both of them. We've been given some more money. And you guys keep telling me I should be recruiting Ents as mercenaries. But there are no Ent mercenaries, so maybe it's a different sub-mod or something. But we've got plenty of money coming in now. So, yeah. I think at the end of the day, Isengard as the capital now, centralised for public order bonuses and reasons, is good. So, that's where we're going to wrap up now. Let me know about the placement here. Remind me, I'm sure Ricardi Owen will be commenting specifically on that. Um... Let me know about whether or not we should be going after any more of these settlements or just sitting tight now until Mordor is destroyed. Uh, we'll probably obviously try and take out these armies if we can and secure Westos, Gileath and Ker Adros. Um, at least so that we can just hold back the Mordor tide. Probably bring a few more of these units up to um, Aragorn's army and take uh, Gazluk. And uh, with these guys, rally ourselves a little bit more and head to Wolberg when we can and then throw that army of the dead unit in there to hold it because once we take Wolberg... We will have all of our victory conditions, and I think then when Mordor is gone, we're good to go. So, you'll also find in the description a very simple vote as to whether or not once I've destroyed Mordor and taken Wahlberg, you are happy for me to end this Let's Play, and I'll hold a new vote for a new Let's Play. And that will in that won't it will include third age third age options, but it will also include things like Shogun Two, Napoleon. Um, so might change things up, or even like Rome Two with DEI, so or Attila with Radius mods and things like that. So that will be that'll be a video out next week, a voting video for that, because I've probably got a couple of series that are slowly but surely 
coming to a close. This one probably is going to be the, one of the first ones to go. But in the description of this video, uh, end the Let's Play. The Arnold Let's Play once I've destroyed Mordor by throwing the ring into Mount Doom and taken Wahlberg. Um, or carry on until you've destroyed, uh, until you've taken all of Mordor's previous territories as well. Um, I mean, I don't really want to turn this into world domination because it could, I think, it could go a bit on a bit longer than we need it to, and we, we've achieved a fair bit. I mean, maybe until we've taken out Harad. So I guess the option will be to continue a bit longer or end the Let's Play once you've destroyed the, destroyed the ring in Mordor and taken Wahlberg. So check that out. Don't forget to vote. Until next time, don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Take pride on the Legion. Check out my affiliates and sponsors, XMG, Green Man Gaming, and GT Omega Racing. Until next time, ciao for now.